Janet and welcome to my channel. Today is an exciting time because this is my first video officially for Art Impressions as a member of their design team. They have honored me uh, and entrusted me with being a member of this talented group and I'm so honored and excited to be part of it. Um, so you'll be seeing a lot more of Art Impression stamps and new releases on my channel in the future. Now don't worry because I'm going to continue to show product reviews, I'm going to continue with series like my, my craft room organization series, and I'll always be doing a few tutorials on the Cricut or the Silhouette or, or Brother Scan and Cut. So all that will continue, you're just going to see a little bit more of art impression work. Today I'll be doing a slimline card for you with a simple watercolor background. The images are Copic colored and the stamps that I'm going to be using is called His and Hers Sky's the Limit. It's a little bit of an older stamp. It's something that I had in my personal collection but it's one of my favorites. So I thought it was fitting that I would start with that. So let's begin and I'll show you the process starting with the watercolor background. I'm going to start working on this sky background. I've got a piece of Canson XL watercolor paper and I've used my Ranger Mini Mister to just spray this down really heavy with water. The reason is is because I'm going to use Ken Oliver Color Burst powders on this. I'm only going to use one color, Ultramarine Blue. And the idea is that I will put little drops of the powders here and there and everywhere on this piece. Now, as I think I mentioned this is 4 by 9 the actual piece I'm going to use on the card is quite a bit smaller than that. Uh, the card base for the slimline is 3.5 by 8.5 so it's going to be trimmed down even smaller than that because I'm going to use a die to make kind of an internal mat to the card base. Now what you see here is liquid metals in platinum. This is also uh, from Ken Oliver. What's different about this though is it's a liquid rather than a powder. And so it goes on a lot easier. I used probably more than I needed to here. I've not used this product before so I was just really kind of experimenting with it. I wanted to see if I would get a pretty shimmer to my sky and it did in fact work. You can see in the droplets at certain points in this uh, the pretty sheen to the water um, that comes off of my piece. I thought for a second I was out of water in my spritzer, but it wasn't. So once I get it good and wet again, I'm going to just kind of tip it over and then I'm going to smoosh it into the ink that comes off onto my craft mat and just get the whole thing covered. And keep an eye out, see for that sheen in that water, isn't that pretty? And that's really how it looks once it's on the cardstock. I know all of my pictures and things really don't show it, but in person it has a very pretty sheen. It's almost like you took Wink of Stella and just covered the whole thing. It's just really pretty and shimmery. Now I wanted a little more white to show in the background, so I blotted this up with a paper towel to get some more white to come out. I sprayed it again just on the areas with the darkest blue splotches. I wanted those areas to be just a little bit more blended and a little lighter, so I did that. Now you see it's very messy. My fingers got really, really dirty here. And I'll give you a tip for cleaning your fingers on uh, either watercolor inks or distress inks. Just take some toothpaste and really scrub your fingers with it and then add some liquid soap and some warm water and it will almost all entirely come off. It's a lot better than any other method I've found. And you know, I like to get my hands messy but I like to clean up when I'm done too. So I hope you like that tip. This is the stamp set I'm going to use today. It's called the His and Hers Flying High set. It's a little bit on the older side, but it's one of my favorites. It has three main images. It's got an old-fashioned biplane with a couple in it, the dog hanging by a parachute, and a birthday wishes banner. There's also a cloud there and a whole bunch of fun sentiments. So to begin with, I'm just going to use Hero Arts Intense Black ink on the plane and the birthday banner. Those are going to be my main... Um, images used on the card. Now Hero Arts Intense Black is very Copic marker or alcohol ink marker friendly. You can also use Memento inks. Those also work quite well. I think the Hero Arts has a slightly more dark black color to it. However, I go back and forth in using these two inks when I'm working with Copics. 
Let's clean up the stamp with my stamp chamois and I'm going to put it in my little stamp chamois container here. It really helps to keep the chamois wet longer. Now it's time to make my card base. I'm going to cut this piece of paper at seven inches by eight and a half inches. And so after I cut it here, I can just switch over my plate that's used for the cutting uh, area and it becomes a little bit of a scoring tool for me here. So I'm going to just score at three and a half inches, which is right in the middle of that seven inch dimension and fold that over. And that of course creates the card base for a typical slimline card, which is three and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches long when folded. So I'm back now to the cloud background that I worked on earlier. It's all dried at this point and it turned out pretty nice. There is a very pretty sheen to this and every once in a while it catches in the camera, but it is kind of hard to pick up unfortunately. You'll just have to take it from me that it really is a pretty finish to this background. I'm gonna run it through my big shot and this is going to give me a nice postage stamp style card mat that I'm gonna use on the card. And here you can see that as it comes out. Now there was some of that shine, hopefully you caught that. Um, but like I say, every once in a while when I turn it just right, you can see that shine in it. So I think that this turned out really well and it was super easy as you saw, perfect for beginning uh, watercolor work. It looks like it might be a little more complicated than it is. And I love the way that it turned out. I'm just using some art glitter glue here, uh, just a liquid glue that I can apply this piece to the card base. You could use, of course, any adhesive that you prefer. I just like the liquid glue, whether it's this one or barely glue or whatever your favorite glue is, because it gives you a little more time to center your mat on your card base and make sure that it looks right. Now I'm just playing around with these pieces that I colored. I'm not going to show you the Copic coloring, but one thing is I'm very slow at it. And I color all my areas at least twice. So it would double this video and make it very boring. So I'm not going to do that. I do have though all the colors listed in the blog post for you. Now I've got an action wobble and I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. You can tell what side goes on your piece by the shape of the wobble. You see how the center is small and it goes gradually larger right there? Well, you want to put that smaller end to your piece and the bigger end to your card base. It's pretty easy to tell that once you know that little tip, although every time I put one on, I have to think about that and look at it closely. Um, and then once that's done, you can peel off the adhesive and put it wherever you want. Now action wobbles are certainly not new to the market. A lot of us have seen these before and used them, but they never grow old, I don't think. They're just a lot of fun. And in this case, it makes my airplane have a little movement, which is great. Now here is the finished birthday wishes banner that I'm gonna put behind the plane. And I need to attach these two, so I'm going to take my Tombow Mono number three black ink pen and draw a line from the plane to that banner. And the, I could have left it as just a thin string and maybe that would have been better, I'm not sure, but I decided that I wanted it to be a little bit more pronounced. So I worked on this a little bit and I gradually made it fairly thick. It's probably, oh, about one eighth of an inch thick in the end. I want to go back for a second and talk about the Copic coloring in this project. As I mentioned, I have all the colors listed for you in the blog post, but if you have any questions about the colors I used or the blends or where I use them, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll respond to you. Um, I'm not an expert colorer by any means. I'm totally, you know, like all of us sort of self-taught. I don't have an art background anything like that. So I've just learned a little bit over time and with practice. So I just wanted to tell you that because a lot of people think when they see a colored object for cars and whatnot that they can never do that. And I want to tell you that I can't draw a stick person without it looking weird. I don't have any artistic ability when it comes to drawing really. Um, but I can color and I learn to color at least enough to get by. So I give you that as, as some encouragement in case you're thinking about either Copic coloring 
or using Spectrum Noir or doing any kind of, of alcohol ink coloring. You can do it and you can get better with practice. So enough of the pep talk. I've attached the birthday wishes banner now. I put that on some foam tape and I also had off camera uh, heat emboss the sentiment. It's not the years. It's the mileage that um, this sentiment says. And I used a couple punches to create that scalloped oval shape. And I've got some dew drops here that I'm attaching in blue and orange. And that will finish off this card. So let's take a look at it all finished up. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's got some good humor to it. I love these characters. They're happy and they're obviously uh, enjoying life. And shouldn't we all? I say we should anyway. Well, I want to thank you for joining me here today. I sure would like you to join my crafty community by subscribing. Be sure to hit the bell if you do so. And then also, I've got some other videos here that you might like to watch, especially if you like this one. Thanks so much. I'll be back soon with another video.